Wow, what a great day of trading. Coming after that loss from yesterday, it was really important for me to, one, not try and make back all the money that I lost yesterday. I feel like that's a very tilty mindset. But two, I wanted to basically reestablish the fundamentals of trading in my own head so that I was confident going into next week. So please sit back and enjoy the stream recap as we go over the trades from this morning session's live stream. Again, that happens here on YouTube every day at 8.20 a.m. Central Time. So subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and come hang out in the live stream. Happy, uh, <clears throat> happy Friday. It's fun for Friday. It is fun for Friday. Today we're rocking the, uh, the King of Beers. What more could you want on a Friday? I don't know. Not much. Uh, news, we had consumer spending month over month. Came in green. Uh, kind of just slowly going to fill that wick. We got it down the low at 66. So about 20 points of movement to the downside that I would say seems pretty, pretty likely. A value area low sitting at 55 as well. Uh, we tested yesterday's value area low here at 55, kind of sitting at it right now. I'm not sold on any direction yet. Um, it would appear we're going down, but we'll see. Maybe another kick up into like the 80s for a short. I don't know. Nas ripping as well. Back up into like 200 here. Let's see what Delta's doing. Kind of flat. I'm going to go ahead and take a short. Sitting near the highs. The trend is down. I am riding with the trend right now. I'm looking at value area low as a potential exit. Um, ES rejected point of control. Nas slapping back below it. Got to get through 200, though. If we can get through 200, it's looking really nice. Uh, going to get stopped out. Now it's just showing a little bit more oomph than the, than the ES right now. Stopped out. Took 30 bucks there. I'm very curious to see if we push this again. Like, I'm actually kind of tempted to potentially take another stab at the 30s. I don't know if I was being greedy there. I don't think I was. It feels, I mean, with these types of candles that we've had, we've been having these last 15 minutes of the day, I don't think I was being too, too greedy by expecting a big move to the downside pretty quick. I also don't think I was being, I don't think I had a wrong thought process of putting my stop in break even there. We lock in 30 bucks. It's a, it's a whatever trade. Uh, this is going to slap. Yeah. There's another opportunity. For watching the video, make sure you press the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Check out the links down below as well go follow me on instagram at trades by matt and twitter at trades by matt all right came in under well the market's pump well delta divergence as well new lows delta did not make a new low i'm gonna take the stab long here testing volume at 200 I'm out. That's close enough for me. It was very, very close to filling, filling me out. Not quite. Um, and I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let another one just like slip away. Like I would have gotten filled out right here at 27. Um, I, the running here looks good. I mean, Delta looks good, but I let that last one kind of slip away and I'm not going to let another one slip away. <laughs> Delta, not super heavy here. Um, we got the prior high on the ES at 62, some top side blocks as well on the es nas we got 75 in play maybe i actually am not not into buying 75 another 10 points down i'm gonna go and take the long here uh just bought this wick essentially the 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 close test of it come back up into 94 this little prior range here short-term range rejecting it so far that was almost too quick in the money for me to even like truly be able to see what was going on. Honestly, I mean, that was like 10 points over 10 points, like immediately. And I went to check to see what it actually looked like on a five minute chart is almost too fast. I feel like the trades into 300 are very, very likely still. Mm, I don't really love a huge kick in Delta like that without a whole lot of price movement following it. Sometimes gives me spooky vibes. Trying to be patient here. I'm killing this. It's too, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, I gotta wait. I don't know. I just have some weird gut feeling about this. So I killed the trade. This was that gut intuition telling me to get out for the move to the downside and save myself 20 points of drawdown on it. Another kick up with Delta looking kind of weak. 
this is this is where we do define if it's a slow grind day or not uh, this is kind of the line in the sand i feel like because we're getting to that point where everything's looking kind of weak as we approach the highs and this is where it, it typically either boosts out or, or rejects i'm gonna take a short it's having a hard time I like this prior open as a potential exit. And we're out. I'll take that. Out of that, out at that exit, or excuse me, out of that open, I ended up flushing a little more. Would have gotten filled out there as well, but uh, I'm happy with that. A pretty high probability trade, at least in my opinion. Uh, 475 after commissions, 457. Not bad. It's not, it's not the best Friday ever. But it's very consistent normal Friday and that's what I was shooting for.